is going on lads in this video we're gonna learn about uh, how a user can log into your application by using a face id it's something about uh, authentication scheme with biometric authentication make it yet you know, easy for the users to access sensitive parts of your application so this video is brought to you by sifcat so let's jump into it all right let me check for the xcode this video I'm going to use the Xcode version 14 and let me create a new Xcode project right the platform or uh, the template which I'm going to use here is uh, iOS kind and it's a app click next I'm going to name the application as uh, face ID bio auth all right and the interface is going to be the storyboard and the language is going to be the shift i'm going to select this all right and uh, clicking next and i'm going to save it in my ios projects folder you can save in your machine wherever you like so i'm just creating it All right, here we go. I have here this uh, Xcode for the project ready. I'm going to first of all going to the main dot storyboard. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a button which I need for this authentication like. So let's check for the button and just drag it inside this uh, view controller. It's taking some time. right and uh, let me go and find the stuff here all right uh, let me change the title and also the color so let me go the name as biometric authentication and uh, let me give a background color set by like a, a green kind of stuff okay system green and phone color let me go white that'd be good okay and I'm drawing it on the middle of the screen let me give some constraints give a height of 35 let it be like this all right and finally I'm going to go a IB action outlet for this button so I'm clicking on the button click control and drag it over here press control drag it over here so let it name it as uh, bio auth tapped all right and now let me come to this view controller and make some space over here uh, I'm going to write a function over here before that uh, there is something like called uh, import or uh, local authentication so let me do that first of all inside this import local authentication and then I'm going to write a function which is for the biometric uh, let me say make some space so I'm going to write it as a function so let it name is func biometric authentication inside this I'm going to make a let constant which is for the let context uh, that will be of uh, la context and then I'm declaring a war in case uh, if the user if the device or something had problem we need to identify the rectify that so uh, in declaring the error as nil as usual when start there will be no error then I'm checking the thing is like the if context dot can evaluate policy this policy is going to be the device biometric uh, authentication with biometrics and the letter uh, error it say like error itself so here we go 
the stuff gonna come inside this. Alright, so let me make some space. Alright, here I'm going to let another constant which is for the let reason. Here I need to put an error. Alright, let reason uh, is equal to try manual in case if it fails in the first step. Try manual login or else touch. Nowadays in iPhone, uh, I don't see any touch uh, having the settings there. So let anyhow let it be there. Okay, and then context uh, dot uh, evaluate policy. Uh, this policy is going to be the device owner authentication with parametrics and the reason localized reason with the reason which I declared at the top and then I have the reply success all these things here I'm going to write uh, some kind of stuff like a weak uh, weak self then I have the success or else the uh, error so I'm going to declare the success and then have uh, error in here we go then we got other stuff inside this we have some stuff all right we declare reason let me do one thing uh, I want here I want to close this actually I'm supposed to close this and open a thing over here and this is correct should be all right uh, then I have to do something else which is for the dispatch Q dot uh, main dot asynchronous doing the stuff over here it's uh, it's a god success it's a god success or it's error if the error is nil or else then self dot there is an error which I need to show over here so in order to do that let me go and write some one more function be like this here I'm closing this I'm going to write a function let's say func so biometric error and it will be of type uh, title and a message which is for the message which has the error message and I'm going to go let hello equal to UI alert uh, controller and then have the title and the message title we will be going to this title over here and the message and then I have the preferred style which is alert and then I have the stuff over here alert dot add action for this particular stuff let me action UI alert action I'm going to go the title and the style title is going to OK and the style is going to be default and finally press it over there so self dot present let it say alert animated true all right and here what I'm going to do next is if the error is nil so in case if it's not self dot show biometric error with the title and message so title I'm going to give like uh, authentication occasion failed message I'm going to go 
tied up let me say please try again all right and uh, that's gonna return the stuff over here so it's going to return right so that's the stuff over here then I need to bring and the thing that if it gays in the success let here flat I'm going to do what I'm going to redirect to some URL so that we know that this authentication have passed all right so URL string the string let me say HTTPS mm www.bluemanco.com this is the site uh, which I used to have all right and then uh, if flat so if it is working UI application application dot share dot open Let's say URL. All right, so this is the stuff over here. If this context is there, else, what we do if else? Also, I'm also showing there. Show biometric error, which is uh, similar like of kind of stuff. I'm copying this and pasting it over here. And the error I'm going to change it as uh, maybe that feature is not available. So let's say that unavailable and the message this feature is not enabled in your device. If the face authentication, I mean. So this feature is not available in your device. All right, that's the I think why it is showing this show remove okay I'm removing that so I think that's the part with the code itself and uh, we have to do one more thing is uh, inside our playlist file uh, before going this let me go this to the tab action all right so here we have the import local authentication then have the button which is the biometrics uh, authentication and have this context all these things let me say okay and what it does first is uh, if the context is having the device owner authentication with biometrics okay let it go inside this and check whether this is happening this is failed or success if the authentication is accessed and uh, if the user is enabled and also if it passes the face recognition then it goes to this part if it fails and if this will be happening which means the error is showing the error authentication fail brace try again or is the reason with the met try um, try like a manual uh, log not touch whatever it's available there and that's it and we go to this info.plist and we do one more thing there is I'm going to click this and check for the privacy privacy and uh, check for the face ID usage uh, description so I'm going to name it as this app app requires access to face ID authentication all right that's it so let me find the simulator and try to run and check what we have done so far all right so let me run this Bell does succeed. Going to the emulator. Had the biometric authentication. If I click this, what happens? The feature is not available in your device. All right. So let me do one thing. The fantastic thing. Have the features inside this and click on enrolled. And now, now let me try this. Uh, do you want to allow? face id by or to use the face id i say okay and it's having this uh, face id feature over here so what i need to do here is inside the features going back i'm going to say non-matching face okay 
face not recognized try again try face ID again so cancel all right and then I'm going to again try this here this time what I'm going to say let me pass this all right so features I'm going to do and say that matching face so all right all right so that's does the property and uh, that code passed which is a success and it's going to redirect to the URL which I provided there inside my this is my new website uh, which is having my details all right and this have few projects which I did and all these things remotely so just go through this website if you have time all right so I think that's it um, in this video so you have learned how you can use uh, device on or authentication with biometrics and uh, how to handle the errors and if it sucks us uh, uh, what you need to do here is you can do whatever you like for the next process which is if you want to navigate to some other view controller all right you can do there or else if you have to do some other particular action you can do this if in case success and the error we shows handles here and if the device doesn't have that feature it will be showing this over there so that's all in this video uh thank you for watching see you in the next video lads all right bye